I'm a commercial litigator with a focus on securities litigation. When I went to law school, I thought that I would be a commercial M&A lawyer, uh, but I missed the creative aspect that comes along with litigation. And I like commercial litigation and securities litigation in particular for the challenge. Many of our clients are facing very complex issues that require a significant application of judgment. And in the case of securities litigation in particular, in Canada, we have a jurisprudence that still needs to be developed. So with a lot of problems, we get to argue from first principles and really make law in the area, which is very exciting. I bring, I hope, uh, because I think this is the most important thing about being a litigator, advocacy skills. We can learn subject matter, and we're required to learn subject matters as litigators for every file, whether you're litigating on behalf of a widget maker or a securities professional, you can learn the subject matter area. What we need to bring, and what I hope I bring to bear, is judgment. Uh, I hope to my clients that I'm a trusted advisor and that I bring those skills to all of my files. Technology is becoming more and more a part of the practice of law and it can be scary for some people, but I think what it can bring is bring us back to the true core of what practicing as a professional is. And that's exactly what we are, we're a profession. And so if the technology can help us with things that young lawyers now are facing as a challenge, volume of materials, uh, constant communication, if that technology can help bring us back to a time when a judgment and professionalism can come to bear on our clients' problems, uh, I think we can become stronger and individuals within the profession can have more satisfaction. I am very focused on diversity and inclusion, not only with in the profession but without, and I focus my time and attention on that. So outside of my role at Lensner Slat, I have two projects in which I'm very involved and very passionate. The first is uh, LEAF, which is the Women's Legal Education and Action Fund. Additionally, I am part of a steering committee for St. Michael's uh, Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto. I have two-year-old twins who were born prematurely and spent three weeks at the hospital. And what I learned from that experience was how important patronage is. And St. Michael's is underfunded in large part because it serves a, a, a poorer segment of the Toronto community. Um, but it really opened my eyes to how we all go through the same struggles, but the level of resources that we have, not only financial, but personal in terms of familial support and otherwise really make the difference. And so over the next three years, our goal is to raise a million dollars for the St. Michael's NICU.